Here we go. The main event is in the heavyweight division. The import Ruman Dragonos, originally of Romanian stock, now hails from Barcelona, Spain, and this is a giant. Six feet six inches tall and over 120 kilograms. He is the multiple and reigning Spanish national champion. His opponent is the cerebral and elusive cold Gregory Snyder. From Strasbourg in France, he is no tiny himself. 6'4", 111 kilograms. This man is the multiple and overall French heavyweight champion. Say that a real man can wear pink and room on Dragonos, who would tell him that he's not a real man? What a beast. This guy is a big boy. Probably using the same barber. It's Gregory the Cold Schneider. That wrist, one just of these touch. men needs to worry too much about Shoulder shampoo. In. Shoulders but in. Their arm wrestling technique will be right on top of the concerns. And a big drive off the start from Gregory Snyder against hand control. Dragonoff goes on to the running foul and we go to the straps. All right, so you're on one running foul. You'd have to win this to get a restart. Okay, just across the Roman, just a touch. Beautifully to explained by the man in the stripes, Dan Thomas. Oh. Ready, go! Just giving a refresher okay, to the Spaniard. And he does exactly as requested. What a start. Good for wrist, a little bit further across. So much power, Roman Dragonov, so much center. leverage. Stay there. Ready, Gregory go! Schneider giving away weight, he's got massive levers himself and he hits the Canada Goose bo bone lock. Now then, this much talked about move, they call it the king move in arm wrestling, the bone lock is evident there. And Roman Dragonos is running into it each time and we've seen this so many times. He needs to transition and come forward, how long will it take him to work that out? Tries to apply it again. Little smile, waiting, trying to allow Gregory Snyder to burn out. Big drive, that's better from Dragonos. He needs to tighten, however. Big drive again, and now he's lost the wrist and hand. That may actually assist him if he can tighten in and get on the tricep. He's got the arm strength. Along comes Snyder's press, and Gregory Snyder with a textbook, textbook pin. Utilising the king move, the Canada Goose. We've seen it made famous by George Azakowicz, Crazy George. It was then adopted by the heavyweight world champion, Monster Michael Todd. And another man who's perfected it is the Frenchman, the cold Gregory Snyder. Ouais. Joint lock arm wrestling 101. It's an ugly technique, it's a dangerous technique, but it's a very, very effective technique. And the discussions have started at a pace in the corner of the Spanish. How do you get around the Canada Goose? Just got to take the joint hand just over to you a little bit, that's perfect. Basically, Gregory Schneider has a calcified elbow from years of arm wrestling. What a dubious call there again! Surely no pin! Look like a slip out. Let's look at that on the replay. Dragging off with the drive. Looked like his elbow came off to me and surely did. Look at enormous elbow foul. Let's look at it's been given, and I think that's ludicrous. Ruben dragging off with the pin. Clearly on the replay, enormous elbow foul. Riding his look in Spain, Ruben Dragonos. We will head into round three, and if I was Gregory Snyder, I'd feel very aggrieved by that. Not the fault of Dan Thomas, he's on the blind side, but the line judge may have been uh, caught napping there because, from my commentary point, clearly an elbow foul. And when we looked on the replay, there was more than enough evidence of that. Three inches off the back of the pad was Roman Dragonos. And again, I'm sure, big drive. Nothing given, no, not that time. Snyder is on the goose again. He hits the king move to the back of the pad. Now look, the arm locks out, and when it does, it just bumps Running off the foul. joint. Running foul for Dragonos is given. Attacking furiously, needs to win the pin just to get the restart. Wow, he's so aggressive in there. Look at the power from the giant Romanian. Trying to drive straight through the bone lock, and he will not achieve that. Not unless he gets a lot tighter. Gregory Snyder now squeaking around. 
pitch in his elbow. The match is live. Snyder has also got onto the running foul. Ruman Dragonos is alive, alive. Oh, if he wins this pin, it will stand. Snyder is transitioning. Around he comes, going for his own press. And he secures it. Same soup warmed over. Gregory, the cold Snyder. There's a running foul this side as well, then this one. Sam Thomas explaining the dual running foul. Dragonoff went off the front early. Line judge was questioning it, but a very accurate call by Nosferatu. Gregory Schneider. He fumes maintenant au départ. It's a clear strategy. Hit the king move. Wait yeah. for the man to exhaust. Come in, transition and press. Nice and straight, excellent. Shoulders in, guys. Just come down off these Not the prettiest, most the aesthetically pleasing arm wrestling better. technique in the world, but so effective. Ooh. Big drive Strap. again, secures hand control. Mm. Dragonos wanted the strap and gets it. The idea of the import room on Dragonos is that with the strap attached, he can tighten early, connect his shoulder, and literally brutally drive through his opponent. That's the plan, and there he is! Trying to exact it, big drive from Schneider. His arm is totally locked out. He's in the king move. Dragonoff can't finish. It's an elbow foul for Schneider. The frustration so on the face of the Romanian there tells a story. He'll try and be a little bit quicker and more explosive now because his arm will be fatiguing and he goes. Connects with the shoulder, huge dead wrist tricep press. You can see the king move in full effect here from Gregory Schneider. His arm is on the bone lock and he's going settled into that. An element of comfort. Oh, it's a second elbow foul. Gregory Snyder questioning that. It would have been uh, poetic justice, to be honest, but he got away with a little foul there because Ruman Dragonos definitely did earlier on. That's not how life works, it's not how arm wrestling works, and Dragonos secures the pin. 2 2. Intriguing battle of styles here in Spain. Both men have their future mapped out, they know exactly where they need to go. Putain! Je la ramasse, là. Intelligent arm wrestler Gregory Schneider compris, uh, able to use his joint lock and he's doing that effectively. Frowned upon by okay, many people. Okay, we just need to and the arm wrestling way, fraternity the claims that it's not really an arm Wrist wrestling technique, guys. it's not really an arm wrestling really move. There are various schools of thought on that. Gregory Schneider's is, and it wins matches. I will take it on board, and he does do. Very few people have a calcified elbow joint and are able to utilize the king move the canada goose Take whatever you want to call it, it to its full okay, effect but if you needed a demonstration of how the technique works we're seeing it now many people talk about lock and that's surely a running foul for schneider and it is given gregory schneider used that almost used the pad as a posting block there popped off the back of the pad dragonos is coming across now and trying to secure the tricep press i'm not sure he knows that Snyder is on the running foul, or maybe he does if he's trying to fatigue it. He goes on an elbow foul oh himself. Cow. Restart. It will be a restart. Sweating heavily now. Man Dragonos needs to base his elbow, needs to get tighter. You can tell the fatigue is kicking in. Gregory Schneider will try to anchor his elbow. Now look at the aggression from the giant Romanian. Dives in with the shoulder. Schneider at the absolute base of the pad. Can't get any further back. And Dragonos collects. He's looking at the hand and wrist of Gregory Snyder. He knows what he needs to do. Snyder's not been finished there. He's into the Canada Goose. The ball knock is applied. The king move is applied. And he will try to anchor it. He will sweep around. Comes in with the press. And it's textbook again. Match, Celebration for match. France. What a war, what a win, Gregory Schneider with the pin. You need to make up your own minds at home about whether you like to watch the King move in action. Whoa. But a master protagonist of the Canada Goose, the King move, the Statue of Liberty. Il pousse au coude, alors je rentre. Je the pousse pour empêcher de me sortir. The cold, Gregory Schneider, utilizing it so effectively here. Stress, stress, this is frustrated. Okay. Is Ruman Dragonos. His head is hung, he's depressed, he's frustrated, he has one arrow left. Needs to get in tight, needs to press through with his shoulder. Wants the strap 
and gets it easily. Game back in, guys. The negativity surrounding the Canada Goose technique is that it doesn't use any real arm wrestling strength or arm strength at all. It's based around joint strength and calcification within the joint, whereas Dragunov is on muscle. He's trying to drive through, he signals the elbow foul, it is an elbow foul, Dan Thomas smiles, in fact... I wanted to give that as a running, I wanted to get back on the pad. It was going to be a running foul, but Dragunov sort of took that decision away by literally standing up mid-match. That's okay, he was an on infringement and he gets a restart, which is exactly what he was looking for. Didn't want to fatigue himself. Big drive from Dragunov, surely a pin and it is! It's a tremendous a tricep press. The elbow's off the... Oh, and it has been given. It's 3-3. Frustration in both camps, but... Legitimate pin. Let's look at it again. Schneider claimed he went off the side of the party. He does, but... That's not the fault of dragging off 3-3 in Madrid. We are very close to together because uh, he's very uh, strong. He, he gave me a lot of... Uh, Technical problem. That's uh, why it's, uh, it was so so difficult, so difficult for me. He was uh, more aggressive at the table than me, and uh, that's why uh, every time I was in a uh, de defensive position, I have uh, I get uh, some problem because uh, I, I feel it, it push uh, me uh, out of the pad for my elbow. I'm happy because it was a, a good match for, for the show. We, it was, uh, I think, a, a good uh, example of arm racing. Salut les petits français, bah écoutez c'est la crise en ce moment, alors remontez-vous le moral, venez voir du bras de fer, vous venez tirer avec nous. A bientôt les gars